Well, you can tell it's fall when different types of produce start popping up in stores, including some oddly shaped varieties of squash. And Sharon Ross from White Picket Produce is here to teach us what we can do with winter squash. All right, so I don't know if you know, but I don't know anything about vegetables. So squash <laughs> is I new to me. I so do know that. I didn't even know that, you know, that there was a thing as winter squash. Right. So what is it? Winter squash is a real hardy squash. It comes out in the fall. You can store it all winter long so that it stays for a long period of time. Unlike summer squash, which mm. is zucchini and yellow squash, has a lot of water content. Winter squash is a lot hardier. It's great for roasting, for soups, you know, those comfort foods comfort that we food. love to eat during the winter. I remember growing up, we used to keep them down in the cellar, which exactly. makes me sound 800 years old. But exactly. up north, when we dug down into the basements, that's you. they would stay there all winter long, and you'd always have squash. Right. Well, that's in, I guess that's good. <laughs> See, you learned something. Quite unique. <laughs> so there's a bunch of different types, there and you are. brought some. Tell I us did. about the ones you brought. Okay, so the first one, and everybody's favorite, everyone is, is used to seeing it, is the butternut squash. Okay. Um, they come in all different shapes and sizes. They, it is the crowd pleaser. It is buttery, nutty. If you're, if you're feeding a crowd, a large one, it goes a long way. So okay. that's the butternut squash. The second one is acorn squash. Acorn squash can be a little bland, so you want to make sure that you're seasoning the acorn squash liberally with salt and seasonings. It is, again, the skin is edible, mm -hmm. so you don't have to peel it, and um, oh. it's great stuffed. So I like that's the a great shape one to it. use. Yeah. And then the next. The next is carnival. Not too many people. Carnival. Carnival oh, squash is that. so pretty on the plate. It's a party. It's kind of a cross between an acorn and a dumpling. Again, just beautiful, great stuffed. Um, it's great squash to use. And it's pretty for decoration. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I was going to say, so I've used pretty. it for decoration. I've never thought about eating it. You can eat it. The next one is delicata. This one is my favorite because it's small. It's kind of like a squash that if you're cooking for one or two people, it's mm -hmm. a great one to use. It's kind of called the sweet potato squash. Oh, okay. It's okay. so easy to work with. It cooks up really quickly, and um, you can eat the skin on that as well, so you don't Ooh. have to peel it. Okay. Who knew there were this many yes, varieties? Right. Seriously. I would have thought they were all different fr um, vegetables. I know. Hmm. The I next thought they one? all tasted alike. Yeah, <laughs> they is kabocha or kabuka. It is, this one you can actually poke a few holes in, put the entire thing in the oven, roast it, and you can eat the entire thing. Oh. It is really creamy. The outside it's too? It's great for soups. Um, the skin is also edible on that one too. It's, oh, yeah, I like it's that. Great. Oh, no. And then the last and one. And then the last one, everyone knows this one too. This one's spaghetti squash. This has a very different texture than the other squashes. It's stringy like spaghetti. People are used to using it instead of spaghetti or pasta. If you're gluten free, this one's a great option for you too. Well, you just mentioned, you know, it's stringy, but I've heard they're hard to cut. They How do you are. get inside and, of it? And it's sometimes people shy away from them because they're afraid of cutting off a finger while they're trying to prepare it. So Valid I do, concern. That sounds <laughs> like us. I do have a trick. So okay, I, I, I brought All each right. of you um, a mini butternut squash to test. The first thing you want to do is make sure your cutting board is solid on the ground okay. or on the countertop. Okay. So I put a wet paper towel underneath your little cutting board. Oh, smart. You then want to have a sharp knife. Okay. Dull knives cut fingers, so make sure I'll you have a you sharp mine. knife. And then you want to take a fork, take your, um, and just poke a few holes in the skin. You don't have to bore a hole in it. Really, you just have to pierce the skin, okay. just so that it doesn't explode. Oh. When you put oh, it in the okay. microwave oh. for about three to five oh. minutes. Like a big oh. potato. Oh, so exactly. Oh, so, so it, this has been microwaved for this a few has minutes. Been I microwaved. thought it had a little yeah, give to it. has to a it. little give to it. Okay. So then, all you want to do is set it solidly on your cutting board, Whoops. and your knife should just glide right through. Look at that. That is easy. Right through. So, so the key is the so microwave. The, so you poke the holes in microwave for a couple Minutes, exactly. and then you can cut it. Exactly. And I, I say three minutes, but depending on the size of your squash, if you have a large one, it might Linda's need... still struggling. So if you do struggle, <laughs> it might need to go back into the microwave okay. for a couple more minutes. Microwave. Um, there you go. Yeah. Okay, yeah, now if we roast so. these, do we take out the guts first? Right, so the guts. This is what you get when you scoop out wow. the guts. Oh. Now, Should looks, you save I it? it chicken. I save it because when I make soup, like I use the guts. That's where all the flavor is. So really? I use that. I saw 
saute it just like you would a chicken stock. This is your guts for the stock. Okay. I saute it. I, I get the flavors to come out with some onion. Then I add the water. I simmer it and then strain it out when I'm ready to make butternut squash soup. And it is a game changer when you get... There you go. You're okay. speaking, yeah, that's speaking of that, there are a variety of ways you can cook squash. Right. And you brought us some examples. I did. Tell us about, you know, the different types of things that you can do with Starting it. Starting with acorn. Acorn is a great one, like I said, to stuff. Oh, I love um, that. So what did you I, stuff it with? I stuffed it with just some onion, celery, Veggie. carrots, mushrooms, and then I had some quinoa, and I just added the quinoa instead of bread stuffing and baked it off. It is amazing. It so when I was growing so up, easy. we made it sweet. We'd put oh, like yeah. cranberries and apples or raisins and brown oh, yeah. sugar and oh, butter wow. in it. And that's that awesome. made it like dessert because that's how I got so convinced good. I should be eating squash. It's so good. Once, yes. And that's a good way to introduce it to children. Mm -hmm. Make it into a dessert. Make it something a little bit sweeter and they will crave it. Right. It's really good. Oh, or right. you can just plain roast the oh, squash. I'm so going in. that one is the oh. butternut. Yum. The acorn squash, it's so beautiful on the plate. And then the delicata. And this a little is the delicata? Trick, that's the delicata. I that's what it looks that. like. Now, this, this one here is the spaghetti squash. I actually sliced it into rings. It cuts your cooking time a little bit. Um, a whole spaghetti squash can take up to 30, 40 minutes in the oven. But if you slice it into rings like mm -hmm. this, you also get... Um, longer strands so oh, it actually looks a little idea. bit more like pasta and, and then you that shave about, that off and you then, just take okay. a fork and you just separate the strings and oh, it just oh my god right look like that. That. it does look okay. like spaghetti does. what temperature so are you roasting well, all of these at I, 375 400 15 to 20 minutes. Well, Stephanie's the only one over here eating, but you also have a recipe. <laughs> yeah, I love squash. You have a recipe that we down. all can right. eat. What is this? Because it looks like a cake. That is I'm going to let you guess. Take a bite and you tell me what vegetable is in there. Well, it's got to be a squash. It it's is. spaghetti squash because it it's stringy. It's spaghetti squash. But why does it taste like pie? Coconut. Doesn't mm -hmm. it taste like oh. coconut? It tastes oh, like a it coconut does. pie. This is amazing. So you know like I with love custard. turning my veggies into oh. desserts. Oh, so. that's amazing. It, it is. Oh, I so love fun. this recipe. It's so good. Okay. It is. Well, mm. my pick and produce can deliver fresh, organic, seasonal produce to you right at your home or your office. All you got to do is call them and go to their website for more information. Thank you guys or thank you, thank you for, for giving me an me. education in Absolutely. squash. I My needed pleasure. it. <laughs> Enjoy. And next we get ready to sell our homes in Suncoast for sale. We'll be right back.